Hola, hola, hola. Muchas gracias por estar aquí conmigo hoy. Thanks so much for being with me here today at this training. I'm so grateful that you're here with me today, and I know that this will help you to transform the way you approach learning and using vocabulary in Spanish as an intermediate student. Estoy muy emocionada, animosa, entusiasmada, ilusionada, all these different ways to say excited and enthusiastic. That's what I'm feeling right now. So bienvenido, bienvenida. Let's get started on the training. I'll give you an overview of what we're going to be doing today. The first thing is that you're going to learn some new words today. Yay, expanding your Spanish vocab already. You'll also be learning how to learn new words in Spanish. I have some ideas for you on how to learn and memorize new Spanish vocab words. And last but not least, you'll be learning how to use new words in Spanish because what good are new words if they just stay on your flashcards or in your phone app and aren't being used in your Spanish writings or conversation? That's no good at all, right? You need to use them. So you'll be getting some tips on how to do that. I'm also going to ask you to get out a piece of scrap paper and a pencil or a pen. This will also be a great time to put your phone on silent, close all the browser tabs and windows you have open, besides this one, of course. Get yourself a cup of water, close the door. Get ready for this training and eliminate all distractions because you're going to be having some pop quizzes throughout the training that will help you to expand your vocab as we go along. So do that now, minimize distractions, grab a piece of scrap paper and a pen or a pencil, and go ahead and pause this for a couple seconds. Okay, everybody should be good to go now. Let's start. You can expand and boost your Spanish vocabulary with these three steps, which we will go over in depth today. The first is to increase your vocabulary. You've been doing that as a beginner. The second step is to improve upon what vocabulary you already use and have. And this is a step that a lot of people just skip or they don't even consider. And this is a step you really need to be focusing on as you're moving past the beginner level. So we're going to go through that today. And the third step is to use all of your new vocab in your Spanish interactions. So we'll go into more detail. <laughs> 